When those selected on the progressive platforms selfishly defect to conservative and regressive courses, citing freedoms of association. And when freedoms of speech and expression is abused to castigate and deny others of fundamental freedoms, worse still, incite hatred against them. When authoritarianism is rebranded as strength, with those challenging tyrannical authority being persecuted by prosecution. When a hateful and loud minority who claims representation of voiceless and silenced majority, endangering the very existence of the downtrodden and marginalized minorities. This is when democracy fails us. And this failure is more prevalent than we as a progressive family admits. Democracy is and will always be a high hanging tightrope laden with double-edged swords and it can instill and deliver real freedom, justice and solidarity for all if its spirit, structures and substances are equally upheld. But sadly, we see that these structures are weaponized by the conservative, yet casting the spirit and substance of democracy into darkness. In this age of disruptions, the natural democratic order of our global polity has been genetically modified and mutated to favour the regressive conservatives. The victimised overwhelming majority have been forcefully nurtured into being defensive by default. And there is no more formidable retardant for hopes and progress than a self-isolating defensive wall. A paradigm shift is severely needed to reverse this self-perpetuating vicious cycle. Democracy has become a battleground for the contestation of power instead of being a competition of ideas and has become an apparatus for the elites to continually win in a viciously rigged cycle of competition rather than an instrument to uphold virtuous cycles of mutual cooperation and prosperity. The result is this. The demos part of democracy, the people is losing confidence in the very notion that lends power, the kratos part of democracy. We have an existential problem for the human civilization if we the people continue to lose confidence in the power of the people, in democracy. The monumental challenge as progressives and socialist youths today is not only to win the immediate battles without bloodshed, but to win the war against conservative and regressive forces, not by force, but by disarmament. We must not fight fire with fire during this time of destructive disruptions. In order for us and, and democracy to survive, mass mobilization as a human race and a global nation, not just a segment of the spectrum, but across the different spectra of the entire humanity to achieve a global consensus and compromise on democracy. And it is up to us, progressive, especially the youth, to take this quantum leap forward. We must counter exclusivity with inclusivity. We must move beyond perpetual competition and by inspiring co cooperation. And we must render mere tolerance of the other irrelevant by embracing our differences. Socialist and progressive youths need to rally all generations, young and old, past and future, to galvanize together to save democracy. Now more than ever, the left and the right need to come together to return human civilization to the path of democracy, real democracy, where the strong acts in the interests of the weak, where the marginalized are protected from the harm, the rich distributes their wealth to the poor, whether it be for the right or the wrong reason, as long as it gets done, and it is done. The right will not move to make this possible. Those vested in the past has no incentive to do so. And it can and must be us, the young, the left, who has no place in the past and have no choice but to save the future from doom. Only we must and can do this.